Hey guys, my name is Tanya. I'm Tim. And welcome back to Team Moo Tuesday. I know, we missed last Tuesday. I did put a post on the community post, though uh, I'm, I guess a lot of you don't even know that that exists. So YouTube allows us to put out regular posts, just like uh, write out sentences, or we can post photos, stuff like that. So if you're subscribed to people's channels, if they put out a community post, it should alert you that they put out a community post. So Keyword should. Should <laughs> alert you. But, you know, when it comes to my YouTube channel, half the time you all are unsubscribed to it. So, anyway, uh, like I said, we had home repairs done. Which, so, they were scheduled to be done, right? But they, they wasn't going to be done until, like... He didn't have time to do ours until, I think it was supposed to be, um, October, wasn't it? yeah, like the second week in October. Well, then he was doing another house and they came across asbestos in that house, which means they had to completely stop construction there. So, which freed up time where he could come and do our house. So we were not really prepared yeah. at that point, <laughs> but I was like. Let's just get it done then. Get it done and over with. So we just had a bunch of like small projects that needed to be done here uh, and one big project. And the one big project was the stairs. We have a two-story house and our stairs were terrible. Uh, when we bought the house, it had carpeting on the stairs. So we didn't actually know what the stairs underneath look like and they were not normal. Let's were, just put it that were way. Manufactured stairs from all leftover parts. <laughs> Basically, so he's right. When we pulled the carpeting off, it was they were not normal. They were pieced together stairs. Leftover wood from everything. That's but, what I feel yeah, like it was yeah. too. So that was the big project that had to be done. Which means all of our bedrooms and bathrooms are upstairs, except for we have one half bath on the main floor. That's it. No shower, no nothing. It's just a sink and a potty. So we had to stay at a hotel because I really didn't want to. <laughs> we have air mattresses, but I really didn't want to stay we're on old. air mattresses yeah. and we're old. So <laughs> what we did is we just stayed here all day uh, until late at night. We got a hotel at the casino because we get free hotels at the casino. Um, so we just stayed here till it was bedtime for everybody, put the dogs to bed, went and stayed at the hotel and then turned around and had to get up at the butt crack. Not even dawn. Let me tell you, because we were leaving the hotel before it even got light out because yep. the contractor liked to stay early or to get started early, which is fine. Uh, so we had to get back to the house, get the dogs all out, settled, fed all that jazz before he showed up. And it was just. Last week just didn't work out quite the way that we thought that it would. Yeah. But everything is done. Everything looks fantastic. Super pumped about it. Uh, and I already have more projects for him to come do. So <laughs> come back and do some more. So it's very hard to find a good contractor. And when you do find one, you stay there. Yep. So I think we found one. And yeah. So that's what happened last week. And that's all I have to say about that. I'll show you our new stairs, though, because they're really nice. He rebuilt them all. You don't have a before photo, too, do you? Oh, I do have okay. a before photo. Yeah. So I, I'll i let you all <clears throat> see the mess. I'll let you see what it looked like after we tore up the carpeting. Yeah. You think you know what people's houses look like that do YouTube videos, but you really don't. We only let you see what we want you to see. <laughs> Well, that's on any video. Not that's any video. video. Yeah. So when you see these before and after of these stairs, you're going to be shocked. So I'll show them to you. I'll be brave and let you guys see what our stairs used to look like beforehand. They were not pretty. Well, here you go. This is what the stairs look like when we tore the carpet up. You can tell they were just pieced together. The the wood doesn't even match it's absolutely horrible and then this is when he just had the risers on there and then here is the finished product they're absolutely beautiful i love them all right uh you want to go first you want me to go first this is my 
Yeah. I'll go first yeah, because I have a bunch of earrings. Let me see those scissors right there. So a couple of videos ago, I bought these super cute uh, puppy paw, like hoop ear. Okay, this one flying out. <laughs> like hoop earrings. And they had like little um, stones in them. Well, Timu alerted me that they went on sale. So I got back on there and ordered every color. <laughs> So that's what, what you're gonna see now. And then I have these other hoops that I like that have like uh, one's gold tone and one's silver tone. And they have like these little, excuse me, I just got done eating a protein bar. Uh, they have like these little hearts on them. Well, I lost one of these, so I thought. <laughs> and then, no lie, as soon as I ordered the set again, cause I like them, I found it like two days later. So here it is. Here it is all over again. So one's silver, one's gold, but they're basically they're basically the same thing. These and the, I'll do the close-ups for you guys. And then the puppy paws, those are just like they're little hoops that have the paws on them, but they all have different colored stones in the middle. So I think those were what purple. Yeah, these are purple, these are pink. And then these are the blue. Wrong way. Yeah. These are, yeah, these are blue. So, and I think the first ones I bought were clear. So, I have double ear piercing, so I can mix and match these however I want. Yep. Same thing with the other ones. And I paid less than, I didn't go down, I didn't go through and write all the uh, prices, but for all of those, but they were under $2 a piece. I'm going to do both of these at the same time. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in them. I was excited for them when I ordered them, but they don't fit. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as everybody knows, I'm a big, I'm from Ohio, so I'm a Reds fan and, and a Bengals and the Ohio State. And they had actually vintage Reds jerseys on there, which I thought was pretty good. You know, it's the Cincinnati cross the front. Yeah. This one is the Pete Rose um, 14. And it's stitched. It's all stitched. But the only thing, these are three X's that I ordered and stuff, but they're uh, too tight in the sh in the chest area. Sad. So I don't know if it's the way the cut is or what and stuff. It but, has to be. But yeah, I mean, I paid 15, 15 for the Ro uh, Pete Rose one. But they're good quality. Very good quality, yeah. Just know that, I mean... And then here's Tim normally wears a 2X in regular clothing, so if you if your guy or girl wears bigger than that, then the 3X was the largest that went, huh? Yeah. Then you wouldn't be able to order these. But if you're smaller than that, I mean, these are good quality, I think. Yeah, they're very good quality. Yeah, put two, for some reason, the Johnny Bench one looks like it's a little bit bigger. It does look bigger. Did you try both of them on yeah, or only one? Just one of them on. Oh, you might want to try the other one on. Actually, it is. It is bigger. Yep. <gasps> so I'll try that one on to see. I know the the uh, Pete Rose one is too small. Too small, but the Johnny Bench one does look a little bit bigger. Bigger. Oh. Yet. So. All right. We'll well, try, he'll try, try that one on, on and we'll put see a clip so in. And we'll let go you from know. There. Yeah, because yeah, it does look a little bit like bigger. A different material too, a little bit. But yeah. Did you order for two different vendors? Same. Same. Same vendor. person. Yep. The tags are even the same. Yeah. So. But yeah, when I held it up, I'm like, this looks a little bit bigger than the it other one. It does look bigger. So, hopefully, we'll see. So those are the... They spelt Cincinnati right, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and bench right in the back. Oh, so, okay, good. Uh, it was actually from a local... Um, local warehouse? Yeah. And they Which want I, you to send it back, right? Yeah, they want me to send it back and stuff. But yeah, my two of my favorite ball players in Reds history and stuff, you know, yeah. and I was excited. They usually, you know, I've been looking at them on... Um, DHgate. Uh, DHgate. I drew a blank which name of it was. But they were wanting thirty to forty dollars for them and stuff. I'm like, those are fifteen. Heck like, yeah. Yeah, I jumped all over them and stuff, and then yeah. So, but I'll definitely try on the Johnny Bench one and see because, like I said, it does look like it's 
A little bit bigger than the uh, P1 yeah. one. Maybe they so. just mismarked it. Maybe. All right. We guess they mistagged the other one. Yeah, because the, the Johnny Bench one I got, it's, it fits perfectly. So, I mean, it's all the way around. It's just... Yeah, that's yeah. wild. He's pretty happy about this one. I am. This is the player that I mean, the playing catcher when I was playing baseball. So. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, there's that one. Yep. Okay, I got some clothes. These are cute, too. I'm pretty excited for these. This this shirt right here, I opened it just to see. Um, I haven't tried anything on yet, though. This one I paid $6.87 for, and I got a $0.43 cent price adjustment. But this one looked like it was, like, all crocheted and stuff in the front on the photo, and it is. And it has, like, the Swiss dot uh, material. And then it has the sleeves that I like, like the cuff sleeves. And this is so stinking cute. And it's really, I mean, it's really good material. I'm kind of surprised, actually. And it's thicker in the front. Like, it's uh, double-lined, even, in the front. So, this is the front. And it doesn't look like it's an irregular size or anything like that either. And then this is the back. And it even is cinched like across the breast area to make it look nicer, like more form fitting across that area. So yeah, I'm excited to try this one on. I got a few pieces of clothing, so we're gonna be trying on some clothes today. This one's cute, I like it. See all the lace, that's what I was talking about. And it's thick enough, it's like they double materialed it. And then it's got like the little puff on the sleeves and then the cuffs. And then it has like this uh, Swiss dot material. But I mean, it fits good and it's a good length too, as far as I'm concerned for me, it's what I like. I really like this neckline though. This is like my favorite part of the shirt is all the crocheting. So this one's pretty good quality to me. Definitely worth it. Right, I paid oh, I'm sorry. It's an extra large too. Size 12. I paid eight forty nine for this, but I also got a price adjustment for a dollar fourteen. So, I mean, I I like the one I um got you for your uh, side oh, table. Oh yeah, yeah. I went ahead and bought myself another one because yeah. the one I had that we had behind the couch and stuff is too big for that. It's bulky. Um, yeah, so it doesn't lay down a side that properly. But it's a nine one style. Um, multi-outlet those are nice yeah it's got the three usbs and then um six um power outlets yeah and stuff and the way everything pretty much is electronics and you need charging and mm -hmm. everything else you know these little things yeah are, they're nice for inside our new end tables yeah and for under seven bucks you know it's definitely i think well worth it oh yeah for so. sure okay i got a new skirt uh it's also an extra large I got the coffee color. I paid $8.83 for it and got a $0.46 cent price adjustment. And it feels almost like nylon, the skirt does. I don't know if you can hear it. It's like that scratchy sound. So it won't be like overly hot. It's kind of long. I think it's, for me, because I'm short, uh, I think it's going to hit me like right above my ankles maybe a little bit. But it's a pull-on skirt. And it has like the cargo pockets on the side of it, but it's not like, it, this isn't like a real snap or anything. It's pull on, it's stretch, and then it has the tie waist if you need to make it uh, any tighter as well. And then the back, the back has a slit in the back too. So I think this is going to be cute with the shirt that I just showed a second ago. Do the buttons on the uh, pocket snap? or is it, uh, it No, it's, it's fake, fake it, okay. but it does have pockets. Yeah. So you can still reach your hand in there. It just makes it look like they're a fold over pocket, but they're really not. Hmm. And let's see, is the cargo pocket? Yep, the cargo pocket's for real too. So that'll be great for thrifting because I can throw my phone in there all the time or keep my keys in there. Yeah, I like that skirt. They had, they had it in different colors too, so. We'll see. Okay, well here's the skirt. Uh, I tucked the front in just so that you could actually see what this looks like. But here's the pockets. I wouldn't necessarily uh, wear it this way, but here's the pockets. Here's the cargos on the side. And then the back has the slit. And that's Penny. But yeah. I mean, it's comfortable. It fits. I think this would be cute with like maybe a t shirt, like a long t shirt or something like that, too. Maybe like a concert shirt or something. But 
I don't know. I'm going to keep it. I do like it and it's comfortable and it'll be nice for thrifting and stuff like that, I think. It's just like a casual type skirt, in my opinion. Let's see. Uh oh. I got to be quiet with this one. That's going to be a favorite. Yeah, so I paid $2.89 for this. It's just another one of those. It looks like a, a baby toy, but they just considered it a, a dog toy. My dog, our dogs love baby toys yeah. more than, I buy them baby toys more than I do dog toys. Right. And I mean, especially the little round one like this, but it's got the little rattle inside there. Oh, uh, he already <laughs> heard it. He already heard it. Yep, so I might as well just throw it to him now and everything. So. What you got? What's dad got? What's dad got? What is that? Yep. Oh, and, and he's off. gonna take it. Off he goes. Yep. yep. Off oh, he goes. Right, someone take that. Okay, well, the toy's <laughs> gone already. That was short lived. Yep. You ready, Poppy? Ready? Ready? <laughs> Good boy. All right, I got another shirt. I paid $4.88 for this one, and it feels kind of like that gauze material, kind of. It's a little wrinkly. I took it out, and it's just a blue and white stripe. It's also thin. It has like a dolman, like a three-quarter style sleeve, but I like the back. See how the bottom back has like a crisscross at the bottom? Now, I'm sure I'll wear like a tank top underneath this, but I still liked that little detail. And then it's just, you know, a V-neck with a collar. So it's nice and lightweight, but it still has some sleeves to it. But I like this one too. And it's an extra large too. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I said that or not. Well, the shirt was much cuter on the model. You'll see in the photo over there, but uh, it's just way too big. I mean, it's like, I don't, it's very boxy, way too big. It's not flattering at all. I mean, it's comfortable, but it looks, makes you look like a tent. I, <laughs> Tim's going, yeah, yeah. So this one's definitely going back. And it's unfortunate because it looks so cute on the model, but this is why I do the side by side so that you can see. It's just not very cute. I'm gonna do another two and one here real fast because these are just Ooh. two small things. I know that just I paid a dollar ninety eight for this, and this is just a uh, simple little comes with like four. Yeah. No, just two. So this little polishing cloth for your electronics. Oh. Uh, or eyeglasses, whatever you want to use them for, sunglasses, but it's a nice... I was going to say, those came in an awfully nice box for just being polishing cloths. Yeah, and they're really nice quality, really. They're not yeah, cheap they're mode. pretty thick. Yeah, so for $1.98. Nice, and then I uh, paid $2.99 for this. It's, I got me a new, for the first time in a long time, bought me a new watch band. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had one in a while. So, but this one is a... Uh, Being stubborn here. I just cut it. Oh, he came back with a toy. What's your dad, buddy? Give me that ball. Give me that ball. He said, heck no, Mom. Oh, yeah. That's, okay. Give me the ball. Let Mommy see it. I think the tape Give is like sticking to the thing of everything. What in the world is going on in there? Yeah, the tape, I think it's stuck. Oh. It's a metal. This is actually Oh, a I see. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just a metal watch band. It comes with the adjustment screw to take out links and everything and stuff. Oh. But it's um, for three ninety nine or two ninety nine. Oh, it's, it's a heavy duty yeah, one. Heavy duty one and stuff. So. They made sure it didn't get scratched. They right. put like little cellophane over every single stinking yeah, part of fun, this. Fun getting it off. For real, <laughs> so. you're in. Well, you use those little bitty scissors. Yeah, you know? but yeah, it should fit. Yeah, it should fit good. I'm about to take like two two links out at least. Oh, at least. All right, a couple of videos ago, I bought these in black and Tim scoped them out. And so uh, I said he could have those and the pink ones went on sale. So I bought me some pink ones. I paid $5.27 for the set. And these are for your travel bag. 
These go inside your luggage bag and hold like your undergarments or your shoes or toiletries or whatever. Uh, this is the seven piece set, I believe. And when we just went to the hotel the other day, I actually used one, oh, wrong way. I actually used one uh, for all my toiletries. I used this one, <laughs> it was like the cinch bag. So you get this one, you get like shoe bags or whatever what you want to use it for, like a smaller uh, makeup bag. And then they just gradually get bigger and bigger for each size. So if you want to put t-shirts in one or pajamas in one, undergarments in them, however you want, but they just keep your bags inside your bags organized for whenever you're traveling, especially your um, check bags. Cause if you send it through TSA or whatever, they rummage through your bags and this way all your stuff just gets to stay in one spot. Right. And it doesn't get slung all over the place. And hopefully if it's liquids or something like that, it stays contained in that bag. Yeah, hopefully. I mean the mesh ones. They Not the mesh ones, but yeah. the other ones at least, yeah. Right. I paid 10.61 for this. I've actually been looking for one of these for a while, a while and stuff. It's just a little um, USB rechargeable pin light. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm having issues getting stuff out of boxes today. So this is actually one that you can put like in your shirt pocket. It's a small little light. It's got, you know, just a little pin light. So you actually can change the color on it too, to white or yellow, depending on what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just a little small little rechargeable light. That you can keep in you know, doing inspections or looking, mm -hmm. keep it in the car or something like that too. If you, yeah. You know, like that part. So, yeah, something simple. That's a nice but, little light. Yeah, and it's heavy duty too. It's not, oh, yeah. well, it's not plastic. Mm -mm. So, I like it. Yeah. I like anything rechargeable. Anymore, yeah. Yeah. I and got... it's USB C too. Oh, okay. Yeah, which is nice. I got a sign for my office. Paid $4.05 for it. I bet you can't guess what it's for. <laughs> uh, do y'all see my new uh, thrifting video? Do you see the new bins we got? Man, that place, I gotta get back already. I'm ready to go back already. I already have, I think, everything listed from that trip. So, and yeah, I've already so sold, oh, I've already sold well over half of it. Yeah. I mean, well over half of it. So, I gotta go back. I'm ready to go back already. Uh, it's a thrift store sign. Look at it. Look at the little vintage too and everything. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. It's cool, ain't it? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, looks real good. This is right up my alley. All right, so I paid three thirty eight for this one, got a dollar ninety price adjustment. It is actually a um another challenge for me. Oh, you haven't bought one in a while. No, that most of the ones are like almost double what I already have. And I actually did a um, refund on this one too because the um, case is actually cracked on the back, which I can buy a whole other thing. But I mean, it's damaged. So. Yeah, that's all right. But this is the um, Archangel Michael, just pretty much his protection coin type thing. <laughs> I am so tired. So, but yeah, we'll do a close up on it. It has a saying on it on the back too and everything, but it's kind of hard to see with the light, the way it's glaring on it and everything. It's got it's good very, colors. Yeah, it's got very good colors and stuff on it. So for less than, less than $2. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I like it. I got some Puppy Paw Pajama Pants. <laughs> puppy Paw Pajama Pants. Paid $4.89. And they're adorable. I love them. I can already tell. And they say Dog Mom all over them. See? And they got the paws. And they're lightweight. So, what, was yesterday the first day of fall or the yeah. day before one of those? Yes, it was, yeah. Dude, it was like 90 degrees here or more. Definitely not the first day of fall. But Tim likes to keep it arctic in the house, so I still wear pants in the house. I'm going to throw me under the bus. 
No, it's a fact. It's not throwing you under the bus, babe. It's a fact. So I did buy these in an extra large, and of course, I'll try them on for you. But I'm sure they're gonna fit. I can tell. Okay, there's my jammy pants. Aren't they cute? Look at all the puppy paws. They're adorable. All right, so, I am so tired, you guys. Yeah, I don't know if you could tell, but like the last week, I'm just drained. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I'm so tired. Maybe I'm low on vitamin D or something. Right, it's hard to say. But we just set you sit, out, sit outside and get all that refreshing stuff. Maybe you need another beach day or something. Maybe I do need another beach day. Maybe I need another vacation. There you go. I need to go back to Vegas. Yep. <laughs> All right, so I paid what is that on here? Thirty-four fifteen. I used a ten dollars of my credit on this, but being that I was having to redo my one side of my desk and everything, yeah, this is actually going to allow me to hook up multiple. It's got all the accessories inside there too. Uh -huh. So this is actually a. Uh oh. That's interesting. Is it supposed to sound like that I inside don't know. there? We'll find out when I power it on. But it's a, um, we'll do a close up on it. But it allows you to hook up um, four monitors to your laptop or a computer and everything. So I'm only going to use a two monitor setup on it. But it's a little compact um, hub, basically, to give you more USBs and more extensions for your monitors. Got the network plug on it. Yeah, that's awfully interesting. Well, I guess we'll see if it's broken or if it yeah it's supposed to sound like that. Yeah, sounds like maybe uh, this one of the pegs might have broke loose inside there. I'm hoping. So, <laughs> but yeah, we'll find out real quick. Yeah, we will. Because I'll be hooking all that stuff up today. You'll be seeing that all in the yeah. There's your little hub. Yep, all hub. All the HMIs are hooked up in the back. Power. Thing. Hooked up my wireless um, track ball in the front area. And that's it for that, huh? Yep. So, Tim bought me these little marshmallow guys, right? That were roasted, or the ghosts roasted in the marshmallows. So then somebody had told me in the comments that they actually have a flag of the same little ghost guys roasted marshmallows. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Paid two seventy eight for it. Got a twenty eight cent price adjustment. <laughs> Got it. And it's going out on the new mailbox today. And we got a new mailbox. I'm gonna show y'all my new mailbox. Your beast of a mailbox. I got the mailbox of all mailboxes that there is. Wait till you see it. You're gonna be shocked. You'll be shocked. Had a new mailbox built. Yeah. It's amazing. Absolutely love it. Wait till you see it. Wait till you see it. You're going to see it with my flag, though. Look. Look at them. They're reading books. How cute yeah. are they? Cute. Adorable. Adorable. It's going out there already. So is that saying, you know, ghosts are welcome? No. Hell is saying? Only nice ones, like Casper. <laughs> These look like Casper style ghosts. Not your style ghost. Yours have dark clouds above their heads. These guys are just reading books. I don't know what you're talking about. I feel like you do. There's my new flag. How cute. And this is my new mailbox. Look at it. It's ginormous. Can you see it? Look how huge it is. I bought the extra large one from Lowe's. So that way, uh, if I don't have a ton of packages going out, my mail lady doesn't have to come all the way up to the door. I can just put them in here. Check it out. Nice, right? I love it. It's so cute. It's adorable. Got me some mums down there. Yeah, my neighbor built it for me. Did a great job. All right, I don't know how this is gonna look when I open this one up, but this, I bought a, oh, let's start off, I paid, somewhere, $31.20 for this. This thing's honking, whatever it is. And it's actually, um, where's the picture of that? I thought it was a picture of the, uh, it is there. 
we don't have to do a close up on it, but it's a uh, double arm monitor. Um, we mount two, two or more monitors. Oh, okay. And you can add on to them too, and everything. That's why I said two or more. But um, I'm pretty sure I'm about to put this thing together as well. Yeah. See, make sure there's no loose joints in this thing. All right. Oh, yeah, there's a lot in there. Loose little screws. Okay. So yeah, this is gonna be something. But this is actually the what it looks like. And they little angle, arm monitor stand. Yeah, and they completely move all the way around instead of just being fixed. You know, or slides. That this yeah. actually you can drop one down, spin it around, everything like that. So okay. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. We'll check that out then. And it's got the um, the screw mount on the bottom. So it actually attaches to the bottom of your, um, like the um, top part of your desk. Oh. Screws down. So it's the, you have to drill holes in and everything like that. You do? You do not. You do. don't? Oh, nice. So that way you can actually disconnect it and move it somewhere else if you wanted to. Oh, that's yeah. nice. That's even better. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. There it is. Tim said it was super easy installation and you can move like... Um, the bars up and down so you can move your monitors up and down side to side any way you want and he didn't have to drill or anything okay tim bought one of these two or three videos ago and i was uh jealous and ordered one for myself and i ordered this for my office i paid 4.89 for this because there's like a corner in my office uh where my desk is it's dark and there's, I, I don't, there's just no light over there. So this, his was great that he got. So I got one too. And I got plenty of plugins in my office. And right now I'm still trying to put my office uh, back together. So when we go out there, don't be judgmental. Still putting it back together. She had some work done in her office too. I had to have right work there. done out there as yeah. well. So now y'all know why we were not around last week. Uh, and the only reason I put out a thrifting video is because I had already shot that footage. So that was the only reason why that was even put out last week. Because if I wouldn't have already had that, it, that wouldn't have happened either. Uh, but yeah, all of our videos are like weekly done. So whenever, whenever you see stuff, it's because we just got it in. So, but this, this light is pretty bright mm -hmm. and you can like maneuver it. I mean, any way that you want and it clips on. So, and it's got a pretty... It's got a pretty yeah. wide clip. And it's got the grips on it too, so there's a damage in yeah. the wood and stuff it's like that. It's got like that little felt in there too, so. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go hook it up in my office because I need it out there, but this will be nice. I I needed this for real. Seriously. And there's my new light. Put it over here in the corner. I don't hardly get any light over here. Look how much it brightens it up though. Nice, right? Pretty nice. It works really good. I highly recommend this little lamp. And you can move it all over. It'll stand on the clip or you could clip it on. I could clip it up here if I wanted to. So, yeah. Highly recommend these. Are you done? I'm done. How'd that happen? Well, I have one thing left. This is needed. <laughs> I don't know, probably, pro I don't know, maybe like six months ago, I bought a new toilet paper holder from Timu. Well, it was plastic and it didn't hold up. So it had been dying for a while now, but then when the contractor came, see we baby stuff along here, <laughs> right? But then when uh, the contractor came, it ended up on the floor. So I had to order uh, another one, which I was gonna order another one anyway, but you know, it is what it is. So that's what this is. This is a new toilet paper holder that I got from Timu and I paid $13.84 for it, but I did get a $1.76 price adjustment. And it's one of those, um, one of those wooden ones that have like the shelves. So it has like a, like a Z looking shelf. We have one in, um, 
my bathroom upstairs that I use. It's very similar to this one. But it has, see, it's got like the wooden shelves. Hopefully this is fairly easy to put together because it's only got a few pieces. Are they all here? Oh, yep, there's a little parts bag right there. So, yeah, somehow, I'm assuming this probably goes to the wall. Yeah, there's your the picture of exactly how it's supposed to Yeah, to I have no idea. Yeah, stuff. I'm just yeah. guessing. But so. you'll see it all put together. But this is no different um, quality or anything than the one that I bought from Amazon. This is before Timu came around. Uh, that I had bought from Amazon for my bathroom upstairs. So, it's, I mean, it's real wood. It's got the metal brackets and the parts bag. I don't know what else you need for a toilet paper holder, but yeah, if I would have just spent the extra 10 bucks <laughs> instead of being me. cheap and buying the little plastic one. But yeah. Maybe. You never know. I mean, it's her one that's not really used. No, it's uh, the downstairs yeah. bathroom, but still, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I was out here editing video and Tim was putting my toilet paper holder together and guess what? It needs to be returned. <laughs> you gotta return it. Yep. It's got small screws and that's a big insert compared to what the small one is that's in this one here. So They didn't give me all this stuff I need. No. It's either that or they put the wrong insert in this one right there. So. Dang it. Okay, well, it's gonna take me two weeks to get another one. Yep. All right. <laughs> You talk about what we have sitting over this corner. Well, I don't know if y'all can see it in the um, in the video or not. I did buy a new piece of furniture, so uh, it's going to be for this dining room. We're not going to do it in this video though, because I just don't have the time. But we are going to do it in the next video. Okay. We're not doing it in this one. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Whatever I want to do. That's right. Uh, yeah. Because I still got it. Today's Monday. We're a day late doing the video. Look, I'm just telling y'all how this is really going. <laughs> it's a day late. We're doing the video a little bit later than usual. Um, our lives have just been a little bit uh, discombobulated lately. Not really uh, in the routine that we're used to being in. So Courtney's in town. My daughter's in town. So she's been staying with us on the weekends. And she has her dog with her. And it's just. With five dogs in the house. We have five dogs in the house on the weekends, and yeah, it's just a little extra stuff. And it's Monday, which means I have to pack from everything I sold over the weekend, which I still haven't done yet. Get it out before but I, I will comes. be doing my office and stuff, <laughs> so we'll get all that taken care of and everything because that's going to take me some time anyway. So, but I also do have another one, it's supposed to be here today, showing out for delivery right now. So, that's my new chair for my office. Oh, yeah, that's true. Sure. Yeah. And he is going to... Okay. So, we're recording this video. So, hopefully, you see his chair being put together in the same video. Yeah, it's 10.30 right now. So. Yeah, it's supposed to be delivered sometime today, and it's 10.30 in the morning now. So, yeah. Hopefully, that's the next clip that you see is him putting together yep. this chair, us getting this chair and him putting it together. As far as that other piece of furniture goes that we were talking about, that's like a new bench um, that's coming into this dining room that you could sit on, but it also has storage in it that I bought from Timu. It actually got here in less than a week. Pretty happy about that. Well, my um, chair, I ordered it last Thursday and it's supposed to be delivered today, so yeah. Pretty fast, and this chair looks like a beast too. So hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully that gets here, and that's the next clip that you see now. It finally got here at halftime <laughs> during the Bengals game. All right, he's going to unpack the chair. Let's see. Now let's just hope everything's here, huh? Right. <laughs> it's pretty thick, though, like we said. Yes. You thought it was going to be a thick one. That's what I was hoping We'll see. You got the Mac Daddy. Doesn't this have like the foot thing and everything on it? Yeah. So like the, the foot, foot prop out? Yeah, that's reclining. So yeah. Good. Look, I got my jammies on already, y'all. We were watching football. 
took forever to get here. I didn't know it was going to take so long. All right, we'll let him put some more together and be back. We built the base first. That was pretty easy. The wheels. And he's just putting on, what is that, like the hydraulic thingy? It's the hydraulic um, lift to recline. Oh, it does the recline and everything? Yeah, that's what the back portion is. That goes on the seat part, yeah? Yes. Pretty easy so far, huh? Yeah, I mean, it, the structures are pretty straightforward. I mean... Think we'll be done by half time time half times no, over. I think the wood's already hurt start down. Oh this, man. I think anyway. Dang it. Alright, we gotta hurry. <laughs> we got a TV right there. Oh we do, but it's alright. Poppy's back to supervising. He's just chilling. He's putting the back bar on. He already put the foot thing on whatever that is what's that considered like a it's like a i don't know it turns it into like a lounge chair or something you can raise your feet out on it it's like a foot rest i don't know if you'll ever use it you might <laughs> probably not but you might never know hard to say uh oh. Is that the Chihuahua? Is that the Chihuahua? Oh, it is. There he is. There's the young man. It's his turn. Come investigate. He thinks we've been gone too long from downstairs. It's time to investigate. Even has a little back pillow, like lumbar pillow thing. Yeah. Huh? Really? Is it on there? Mm -hmm. I bet they are. There it is. Stitch it. Well, you gotta put the arms on still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, uh, your arms or your feet are asleep. Yes. Your knees. Knees down. Yeah. Too old for this. Being on the floor. All done. What do you think? Much better than my other one. Is it? A lot better. Mm -hmm. You like it better? Does it go on pie? Of, on top of the world. Yeah, it goes up super tall. Yeah. Is it cushiony? It's very cushiony. You like that back thing? It didn't even bother me. Oh, you can't tell? Mm -hmm. Is that, oh, it reclines? Yeah. Oh, Lord. That's scary. That's why the, the arms flex. Oh. Yeah. Now you gotta lock it back? Yeah. Oh. It's got the foot thing if you want it. Yeah, I ain't gonna try that. Yeah. <laughs> But That's it does fine. slide out. I just pointed it. it slips up. All right. Nice, nice. All right. How much did you pay for it? Uh, 93. I was actually going to sell regular 167. All right. On T Mill. On T Mill. 93 bucks on sale. All right. Hi, guys. Say hi. Guys, that's it for this Timu Tuesday. It's over. We're going to go back and watch the game and lay on the couch with the dogs. And hopefully it's a good ending. <laughs> hopefully it's a good ending. It wasn't great at halftime, so we haven't been back downstairs yet, so we don't know what the score is, but we're on our way now. So we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.